to lead the wireless technology evolution to deliver benefits for our society. No matter what the use case is, the true value of wireless connectivity can only be realized when there is robust network coverage and sufficient capacity. While 6G undoubtedly enhanced capacity and coverage across all spectrum bands, one particularly exciting opportunity is the redesign of the low and mid band. This is driven by the global momentum of reforming 2G and 3G spectrum for the next generation wireless deployments. We anticipate 6G to bring significant capacity improvements in the range of 50 to 70% over 5G in these bands, which can benefit mobile operators, service providers, and end users alike. Our research has been focused on enhancing invaluable low and mid FDD bands. Let's take a closer look at a few selected techniques. First, 6G can achieve tighter spectrum confinement than 5G in FDD bands with advanced signal processing techniques. That means 6G can pack more signals for the same bandwidth by reducing guard bands in between carriers. 6G can also realize a more seamless mid-band FDD and TDD integration via numerology alignment. Using the same numerology synchronizes the scheduling heartbeat between mid-band FDD and TDD to enhance coordinated operations, thereby improving user experience and network efficiency. Second, the fundamental building blocks of 6G are expected to deliver a more significant leap in performance. 6G new baseband designs, like enhanced LDPC coding, constellation shaping, and new MIMO mapping, can provide more than 20% improvement over 5G NR in FDD bands. MIMO channel state feedback design with advanced signal processing and AI techniques will bring an additional 20% gain over 5G E-Type 2 CSI scheme for downlink multi-user MIMO scenarios. In the uplink direction, a joint waveform and MIMO design can provide 2 dB gain over 5G NR. Furthermore, improved uplink antenna selection and power management can offer an additional 2 to 3 dB gain compared with 5G baseband design. 6G reference signal design would incorporate elements from both 5G and 4G, along with a new HRQ framework, an additional 15 to 20% gain could be achieved on top of all previous enhancements across uplink and downlink. Shifting our focus to the mid-band sub-7 GHz TDD spectrum, these wide area capacity bands will continue to be essential in the 6G era. We expect ongoing advancements in these bands. The new 6G baseband will not only aim to boosting spectrum efficiency by another 30 to 50% in TDD bands, but also target both high area and energy efficiency. Key 6G Phi and MAC elements such as advanced modulation coding, MIMO mapping, integrated HRQ and ARQ, and streamlined TDD and carrier aggregation designs are expected to collectively achieve a much higher implementation efficiency than 5G NR with matched or better performance. We expect to support a 5 to 10 times higher peak data rate than 5G, but with 2 times or higher area efficiency. Enhanced spectrum efficiency in 6G naturally leads to better energy efficiency. Aforementioned designs could achieve 30 to 50% network energy saving for loaded cells. Unloaded cell energy efficiency can be further improved by 6G area interface design, such as streamlined initial access with minimum always on signaling, enhanced bandwidth part adaptation framework, and other innovations. Beyond a refreshed design for high efficiency, improving coverage is another key area of 6G research. In 6G, there will be coverage native designs for both uplink and downlink across all bands. 
We are targeting significant coverage gains through a variety of techniques, such as a more flexible slot bundling for data channel, lean broadcast control channel, and a more versatile DFT spread OFDM waveform for uplink. It is crucial to emphasize the importance of specifying these native designs right from the first release of 6G to ensure robust coverage for all 6G devices rather than introducing coverage enhancements in later releases. As you can see, 6G is expected to bring some very exciting fundamental system upgrades. We estimate the new 6G baseband design to deliver 50 to 70 percent accumulative capacity gain over 5G in low mid bands, even without upgrading cell site RF and antenna hardware. As a reference, FDD upgrade from 4G LTE to 5G NR delivered about 10 to 15 percent gain. More importantly, we could introduce 6G in existing 5G FDD TDD bands in a seamless fashion via multi-rat spectrum sharing or MRSS technology to realize the 6G capacity benefit. What I've described so far is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to 6G fundamental designs. In the upcoming months, we will be sharing more details of our research, so stay tuned.